Welcome to the Urban Survivor channel and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Eurovivon Aurora A33 rechargeable pen light. This is the Nichia 219C version which has a max output of 180 lumens, a max runtime of 60 hours and it's USB-C rechargeable and has a high CRI greater than 90. Alright so here we have the A33 and despite the fact that it's called a pen light don't get your hopes up because there's no actual pen involved. It does have some grooves around the body for grip and a deep carry style pocket clip which you can remove if you want to. There's a plastic button on top which is very similar to the button on the Aerovivon A23 which you can use to turn the light on and off and cycle through the different modes. There's a small Aerovivon logo along with the model name on the head and here's a quick look at the TIR lens, the smooth reflector and the LED. Here's a quick glance at how this compares in size to the Rovivon Aurora A5X keychain flashlight so you can get an idea of its size and here's another shot of how it carries inside of my short pockets using the pocket clip. To charge the A33 all you have to do is unscrew the charging port cover by the base and plug in a USB-C cable. This light supports C to C and A to C charging and it takes about 70 minutes to fully charge the light. There's also a small charging status indicator next to the charging port. Here's a shot comparing the different output modes. On the top left we have the 0.5 lumen moonlight mode which has a max runtime of 60 hours. Next to that we have the low mode which has a 12 lumen output and a 15 hour runtime. On the bottom left is the 50 lumens mode which has a 5 hour runtime and on the bottom right is the high 180 lumens mode with a max runtime of about 1 hour. Here's a glance of this light on its lowest 0.5 lumen setting which is just bright enough to make out objects a few feet away at most. This mode would be perfect for reading or other up close tasks and the setting is great because the runtime is 60 hours. Here's a video of this light on its 180 lumen turbo mode setting so you can get an idea of its max output. The wall in the background is about 15 meters away and even though 180 lumens might not sound like much it's still plenty bright for short to mid range use. Here's a shot comparing the Rovivon A33 on the left to the keychain Rovivon A5X on the right which has a Cree XP G3 LED on their highest output settings so you can get an idea of how the different LEDs compare. There's a few things that really stand out about this light. The Nichia 219C LED is an option on several of the Rovivon lights and even though the output is slightly less than the Cree version the CRI is much higher and the max runtime is also better. I'm glad to see USB-C charging as well, which is something I hope to see on their next gen of their keychain flashlight series. The moonlight mode also has a pretty decent runtime at 60 hours. Also, this chart from Rovivon shows the output of this light over time, and it actually looks like the output is consistently high for just under an hour, which is excellent. With regards to the cons, I'm not a huge fan of the button style, and it feels a bit flimsy. Also, it would be nice if the light had a bigger battery. Another thing I noticed is that the pocket clip slides a little bit when you twist the charging port cover shut, which makes it a bit difficult to close, so it's better to close it without the pocket clip attached. Overall, I'm surprisingly impressed by this light, and I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. I like the run times, the high CRI, and it seems quite durable, and it's small enough to be pocket carried comfortably because it's so slim. If you want to pick up one of these lights, there's a link in the description below which will also help to support the channel. Let me know what you think of the A33 in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more flash art reviews like this one. I've also reviewed some other lights from Movivon, so if you want to check those out, you can find links to those in the description as well.